Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's episode, I want to help you understand the ladder technique. There are some myths, some misconceptions which I'm going to go into. I encourage you to do your own research. If you want to read further, The Power of Imagination is chapter 3 of Out of From Out of This World and Neville talks about this thing called the ladder technique. And we're going to talk about what the ladder technique means. So, it literally is climbing a ladder in your imagination. And I'm going to talk why we're doing this. So, climbing the ladder, as well as an affirmation of I will not climb the ladder, I want to talk about what it is and what it isn't. So, you will know that when you do the ladder technique, when you, and I want to say when you practice the ladder technique, um, it is so you are exercising your power. What does this mean? It means that you need not acquire this power, but you need to know you already have it. You want to understand it. I do implore you to understand this power. That is why I'm doing all of these teaching videos and go look at feeling as the secret piece. It's going to tell you why it's so important to cultivate your imaginal um, faculties, your power, etc. You want to use this power because you want to manifest, but manifestation is not all this is about. This is really about your awakened imagination, which is you controlling your awakened imagination and you becoming impregnated by your ability to understand what? Your power, because you already have it. Like Neville says, you need not acquire this power because you are already it. So please cultivate this within. So this takes us into consciousness of being because we must be before we can do. And we can only do to the extent of who we are. We are conscious of being in order to manifest. When we know what uh, it is we desire and who we become, in terms of cultivating that desire, we are going to see that we can attract anything. But what we are depends on what we think. And what we think must be aligned to how we are being, which is our feeling. Now, when we have mental possession, we come into actual possession of the power and the wisdom that brings what it is that we desire into manifestation. The difference in terms of this particular technique of visualizing yourself climbing a ladder will be appreciated when you apply it. So always remember your desire is quite important, visualizing yourself uh, climbing a ladder and then the physical immobility. I will tell you to do this at night when you can fall asleep. So remember when we go into the state akin to sleep, physical immobility of the, the body uh, of the body and then bringing that imaginary action the imaginary scene which is the feeling state the predominant feeling of what it is that you want in the here and now so that you may alter the future i also have a video around that so you can look at how we alter the future making this the unseen scene we experiment with climbing a ladder in imagination so we can test the idea uh, of power of our thoughts and feelings and how they have a real impact on our reality. So climb the ladder in your, in your imagination for three nights in a row, please. Going to sleep at night, you will imagine you are doing this act. You are seeing yourself climbing the ladder in the here and now. Relaxation is key to when you fall asleep. You fall asleep, get into the drowsy state. You immobilize your physical body. You must become possessed. The mental possession is important for the physical possession to happen. So become possessed by the idea, I will climb, I am climbing the ladder. And you are going to physically feel yourself attach, uh, hold onto one rung as you ascend and you put your foot on the rungs below. You must see yourself doing this in the first person. So as you see here, you will see your hands you'll see the ladder in front of you. You keep up with this imaginary action until you fall asleep. 
Now, why do we do this? We do this because when we come out, we awaken out of the physical body in the sleep state. We move into the fourth dimension, the dimensionally larger world, the cosmos, the quantum field, whatever you want to call it. When we can do that, what we do there, we bring it here into the physical reality. And what we desire so strongly and we imagined we were doing in our fourth dimensional world, in our imagination, we experience, we have the physical possession here in our physical reality. Very important. Whether you awaken there or not in the fourth dimension, you are already performing the action and you reenact it in the future. How long that takes is dependent on how well you um, embody it, how natural you feel this is. So here are the instructions. You're going to do this for three nights in a row. As you lay down, as you go to sleep, you will envision yourself climbing a ladder. See yourself climbing up the ladder Putting your hand on the rung that is at comfortable height and then you put your foot up on the rung and you start to move. Feel the ladder in your hands as you move up. Feeling this, you envision yourself as you fall asleep. There's another part to this, which is the next day. Now this is something that might confuse people, but I'm going to talk to you through it. You take some post-it notes and you write down on two or three of them and you place these notes around the house. You write down, I will not climb a ladder. Now this is the affirmation part. You are going to be repeating your visualization, which is the imaginal scene at night. And you will have these post-it notes around your house or your office, wherever it is that you're going to pass them by during the day. You are going to do the exercise again for three nights and then on after the third night of the visualization, on the fourth day, you will remove the post-it notes. Now at this time, what this is about is that you are going to, on the fourth night, you're going to fall asleep without having to go back into the ladder experiment. Because at this time, what it is, is the ladder experiment suggests that in your waking life, because you have now dreamt it, you have now seen it in your imagination, you have felt it, you will now climb a ladder physically in your waking time. Now please remember, you do not go and actively seek out a ladder, but you will see that the ladder gets presented to you in a surprising way. There's some things that you need to be aware of, and I know that people get confused around this, so let's break this down. Why climb the ladder? This is to demonstrate the power of your imagination and the efficiency of the state akin to sleep to attract that which you most desire. And let's say this, not just attract, to bring it into your physical reality. So this is not a manifestation technique. This is really an exercise to demonstrate how your imaginal act is greater than affirmation alone. You can do an affirmation, absolutely fine however what we are doing is cultivating the power that you have within you to bring into your reality that which you want to manifest and let me be very clear while we have these exercises for manifestation you are really looking at this to you practice it so that you may cultivate your imagination your self-concept your powers so that you step up into becoming the awakened imagination. Another thing to, to note is you will do the imaginal act of climbing the ladder in your visual um, visualization, in your imaginal scene, in the state akin to sleep. Now, if you see a ladder and you cannot climb it, it is okay, you haven't failed the experiment. You are just still on the bridge of instant. Equally so, if you see that you imagine a, re um, no, you imagine a regular ladder, but you then wind up climbing a step ladder, 
it's perfectly okay. This is confirmation because in the original experiment, what we are doing is we are demonstrating that even though you affirm one thing, I will not climb a ladder, when you imagine the opposite, which is I climb the ladder, your imaginal act has more power. People want to know if they can use this to manifest wealth. Um, please go into SATS and focus on the manifestation or the desire that I am wealthy, I have wealth. A very, very uh, powerful technique that you can use, which we will, you can demonstrate to yourself, is the state akin to sleep. Live in the end. I invite you to, to test this out. Neville tells us, test the law and prove it for yourself. So this really is about the affirmation in the original experiment is to demonstrate, even though you affirm one thing, when you imagine the opposite in the drowsy state, you are imprinting the subconscious mind. When you affirm, you may or may not get to the imprinting of your subconscious mind. Now, equally important, why some people may have affirmations that work for them is when there is no doubt, no conflict, no um, nothing that impedes them from actually having um, that particular affirmation come to life. It could be something as simple as you think of something and for me it has been, I've been really, really um, desiring when I desired to start my YouTube channel. Um, I didn't have any equipment. I, um, I was just so focused on this really burning desire to have this channel started that my husband decided he was going to kick me out with my podcasting, um, my mic, my microphone, I have studio lights in here, um, and a lot more. I will talk about that manifestation in a separate video. So please let me know how it went for you with the ladder technique. What did you find out? Please remember, this is a man. Please remember, it's not a manifestation technique. It is about testing the law and learning how to use your imaginal faculties, imaginal your imagination, your power of feeling, uh, bringing the feeling into your imagination. Feeling is the secret is a, a four parts to it that I've done um, earlier in, uh, earlier on in my videos. I suggest you please go and uh, familiarize yourself with why and how the subconscious is imprinted. So I look forward to hearing about your experience and uh, if there are any topics that are of interest to you and uh, you'd love for me to, to break it down, to help you understand, etc. Please drop them in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till I see you next time, create the most magnificent, wonderful life that you can imagine.